वॉट इज द लीस्ट एंड मैक्सिम नंबर ऑफ क्यूब्स चैप्टर इज क्यूब्स 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 वॉट इज द लीस्ट एंड मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल नंबर ऑफ आइडेंटिकल पीसेस विल बी देयर फ्रॉम अ लार्ज क्यूब बाई ट्वेंटी कट्स नो चेक हेयर नंबर ऑफ कट्स नंबर ऑफ मिनिमम पीसेस नंबर ऑफ मैक्सिमम पीसेस नो हेयर इज अ क्यूब दिस इज अ क्यूब दिस इज एक्स एक्सिस दिस इज वाई एक्सिस एंड दिस इज जेड एक्सिस नो लेट नंबर ऑफ कट्स इज इक्वल टू वन When number of cuts is equal to one, this cut could be along x-axis or along y-axis or along z-axis. Now, when cut is along x-axis, then number of pieces will be two. Obviously, minimum number of pieces and maximum number of pieces will be same in this case. When cuts is equal to one. Now, if I increase the value of cuts, now number of cuts is equal to two. Now check. Now we have two options. These two cuts could be along same axis or along different axis. When these two cuts along same axis. Now let along x-axis. X-axis so number of pieces will be three. Number of pieces in this case is equal to three. Now cuts. Now check this case. Now cuts along different axis. Different axis means x-axis and y-axis. Here number of pieces this pieces along x-axis will be two. Pieces along y-axis will be two. So two into two is equal to four. so maximum number of pieces in this case will be four so when we want to minimize the number of pieces then cuts will be along same axis and when we want to maximize the number of pieces then cuts will be along different axis now when number of cuts will be three now check number of cuts is equal to three check this case when number of cuts is equal to three and these cuts along same axis then number of pieces will be 1 2 3 and 4 so number of pieces will be four minimum number of pieces will be four and when and for maximum number of pieces now check for maximum number of pieces cut along x axis and cut along y axis and cut should be along z axis one cut along x axis one cut along y axis one cut along z axis so number of pieces along x axis will be 2 number of pieces along y axis will be 2 number of pieces along z axis will be 2 so 2 into 2 into 2 is equal to 8 so number of pieces along maximum number of pieces will be 8 in which two number number of pieces along x axis will be 2 number of pieces along y axis will be 2 and number of pieces along z axis will be 2 so number of pieces in this case will be 8 maximum number of pieces now cuts here cuts here number of cuts is equal to 4 minimum number of and maximum number of pieces Num when number of cuts is equal to 4 then minimum number of pieces will be 5 and for maximum number of pieces maximum number of pieces one cut along x axis one cut along z axis one cut along y axis and one we have left with one cut that one cut could be along x axis or y axis or z axis now num cut along x axis so number of pieces along x axis will be 3 number of pieces along y axis will be 2 number of pieces along z axis will be 2 so total number of maximum number of pieces will be 12 so number of cuts is equal to 4 then number of minimum number of pieces will be 5 and maximum number of pieces will be 12 now if i increase this value let check for 100 or let 100 let 100 then minimum number of pieces will be 101 and for maximum number of pieces maximum number of pieces cuts along x axis should be cuts along y axis should be cut along z axis or they should be as close as possible means means 100 is equal to 100 by 3 is equal to approx 33 so 33 plus 33 plus 33 plus 34 so cuts along x axis will be 33 cuts along y axis will be 33 and cuts along z axis will be 34 so number of pieces along x axis will be 34 means 33 plus 1 is equal to 34 number of pieces will be z y axis 34 number of pieces along z axis will be 35 
so maximum number of pieces in this case will be 34 into 34 into 35 means 34 into 34 into 35 so maximum number of pieces will be 34 into 34 into 35 so take another case like 20 20 so minimum number of pieces and maximum number of pieces minimum number of pieces will be 21 and for maximum number of pieces divide this by 33 so 6 point something so 6 6 sorry 7 7 and 6 so this cuts along x axis 8 cuts along y axis 8 and cuts along z axis will be 6 so maximum number of pieces will be 8 into 8 into 6 so in this case minimum number of pieces will be 21 and maximum number of pieces will be 8 into 8 into 6 minimum 21 and maximum 8 into 8 into 6 i hope this concept is clear now Now second case, what is the least possible number of cuts required to cut a cube in 34 identical pieces? This is reverse case. In first case, we have given number of cuts and we want to find identical pieces. Here we have given identical pieces and we want to find number of cuts. Minimum number of cuts and maximum number of cuts. Now check. Here 34 identical pieces. 34 identical pieces means now then we want maximum number of cuts. Maximum number of cuts will be along same axis. We want 34 number of identical pieces means number of cuts along same axis will be 33. So maximum number of cuts will be 33. When maximum number of cuts is 33 that will give 34 identical pieces. Now minimum number of cuts, minimum number of cuts, then we want minimum number of cuts, then we want to, we should distribute these cuts along x axis, along y axis and along z axis, means A cuts along x axis A, cuts along y axis B, cuts along z axis C. So number of pieces here, number of pieces will be A plus 1, number of pieces here is equal to B plus 1, number of pieces here is equal to C plus 1. So number of pieces, total number of pieces A plus 1, B plus 1 into C plus 1 is equal to 34. Is equal to 34 or 34. So now factorize this 34. Factorize this 34. 1 into 2 into 17. This is the only prime factorization of this 34. So number of pieces, number of pieces along x axis will be 0. Number of pieces along y axis will be 1. Number of pieces along z axis will be 16. So total number of pieces will be 17. So minimum number of pieces will be 17. And maximum number of pieces will be. Maximum number of pieces will be 34. Or take another example. Let 100. Let number of identical pieces is equal to 100. So maximum number of cuts will be. 101 and minimum number of cut minimum number of cut will be a plus 1 b plus 1 and c plus 1 is equal to 100 means this will be 5 into 5 into 4 means a is equal to 4 b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 3 so cuts along x axis will be 4 cuts along y axis will be 4 cuts along z axis will be 3 so total number of pieces will be 4 plus 4 plus 3 is equal to 11 so minimum number of pieces, minimum number of pieces will be 11 and maximum number of cuts will be, sorry, minimum number of cuts will be 101 and maximum number of cuts will be 111. I hope this is clear now. 